Hello and welcome to the show that brings you the best mix of international water sports from around the world. Two features this week. Later in the show, we return to Marseille in Spain for continued highlights on the latest stop of the PKRA Kiteboard World Tour. But first we take you to Baku, Azerbaijan for highlights from the UIM Formula 2 World Championship. 20 drivers take to the water for the second round. Baku, Azerbaijan for the second heat of the UAM Formula 2 World Championship. 20 drivers in the water of the Caspian Sea and let's see immediately how the qualifying went. Number 10 is the Swede Tobias Söderlin, Aho team. Number 9, Mette Bjarknes from Norway, Lundin team. Stanislav Kurzenowski from Russia is in number 8 for Riga team. Then the Norwegian Paul Birk Nielsen from the Steni. Ola Pettersson with number 6 and the white boat from Sweden from Skone Racing Team. Then the Latvian Ulvis Lagderis, Riga Powerboat Team is in number 5. Johan Osterberg, number 4 from Sweden, Aho Team. For Team Azerbaijan, Jonas Andersson, Sweden. In second position, the Italian Paolo Zantelli for the Zec Team. And in first position, the reigning world champion Eric Stark from Getter Racing Team. Welcome, welcome everybody in Baku, Azerbaijan. This is the second heat of the UIM Formula 2 World Championship. A very busy championship with 20 drivers and 20 boats in the water for a three days of event. We say a busy championship which started in Stockholm last month and then this heat in Baku, Azerbaijan. The next race will be held in Brindisi, Italy, then Nottingham, UK and finally in South Africa. Let's get into action. In some minutes the Baku race will start. Uh, now we see the standings before this race uh, and after the first heat of the championship in Stockholm. And the two times reigning world champion Eric Stark uh, is also in first position having won uh, his home race in Stockholm, followed by the countrymate Jonas Sanderson uh, with 15 points. Then in third position, who occupied the third step of the podium in Stockholm, is the Norwegian Paul Virek Nielsen. So it's a whole Scandinavian podium for Stockholm race. Then again, Stefan Hagen in fourth position, the German, followed by the Swede Johan Osterberg. And then the Briton Owen Jelf from a long dynasty of racers. Then Tobias Söderling in seventh position with four points, followed by Ola Pettersson with three points, occupying the eighth position. We see again the following ones, it's Paolo Zantelli with two points, uh, nine position for the race uh, in Sweden and also nine position in the provisional standings, followed by Stanislav Kursenowski from the Russian team, uh, Russian athlete of course. And then again uh, a lot of drivers with zero points uh, but still uh, in the ranking. There's the girl Bimba Sjoholm from Sweden in the 11th position, then the Hungarian Belak Cerny and Winan de Jäger from South Africa. In 14th position, Chiara Rossi, another girl from Italy, and Mette Björkers, another girl again from Norway in 15th position, followed by the Finn Harry Leti. From Latvia, Ulvis Lakteris, uh, he's still at zero points, but he's a veteran in this discipline and he's a really strong driver, but now zero points for him. Then Tobias Muntekas from Norway, it's in 18th position. And finally, Eric Edin from Sweden, Manuel Sawyer Essig from Germany, Adrian Maniewski from Poland, Rup Temper, another veteran from Austria, and Simone Schuft, a girl from Germany, occupying the last positions. But power boating is not only about uh, drivers in the water and about the race. There's a lot of other people involved uh, and uh, people would need to, to work a lot uh, to make all of this possible. Of course, uh, one of the main aspects is logistics uh, with a lot of gear, a lot of stuff that needs to be transported from one venue to the other. Then a lot of local people will need to work uh, in order to mount and then dismount uh, all the uh, related stuff that need to be around uh, the, the race venue. So now we want to play for you this clip uh, showing you what happens in the days before the race.
So, as we say, the race uh, is about to start in some minutes. Uh, the boats are already uh, at the pontoon. And this person we see in the images uh, is Pelle Larsson from Sweden. He's the officer of the day today. This person, along with the UIM commissioners who come over, uh, nominated by the World Power Boating Federation and who come over at every event, are responsible of taking decisions about the main uh, uh, things regarding the race. Of course, the green flag, uh, which means uh, the race can start, uh, but then also the yellow flag in case of uh, accident. And if in case uh, uh, it's needed, also the, the red flag will stop the race. So talking about uh, yellow and possible red flags, uh, we need to talk also about safety. Of course, uh, in racing uh, uh, at any time uh, uh, a crash can occur, but the first point is that these boats uh, are really safe. First of all, there are uh, a lot of rules uh, from the World Power Boating Federation uh, who uh, oblige the teams, the boat builders especially, to, to accomplish to these rules. Uh, so the boats need to have uh, um, a crash site in front of the boat uh, with a program deformation. Then there's also an airbag. Uh, uh, we will talk about this later. I, I will tell you more about this. But also uh, the safety on the race field uh, means that there need to be uh, rescue teams. There are boats displaced around the race track. Uh, so at any time uh, a crash can happen, there will be immediately a boat uh, with uh, people, with divers, who can immediately rescue uh, the, um, the driver in case of crash. And let's see exactly the starting grid of this Baku Grand Prix. First position, Eric Stark, followed by Paolo Zantelli in second position. Jonas Anderson is in third. Then Johan Osterberg, fourth and fifth for Ulvis Slakteris. Six is Ola Pettersson. Seven, Paul Virek Nielsen. Eight, Stanislav Kurzenowski. Ninth position is the girl, Mette Bianknes. Then Tobias Söderling in tenth. Eric Edin, eleventh. And Stefan Hagen in twelfth. Then Owen Jelf in 13th position, Winan de Jager 14. P15 is for the Italian girl Chiara Rossi, followed by the other girl Bimba Sjoholm in 16. Another girl, Simone Schuft in 17th position, then Bella Xerni number 18, 19 Rupert Temper and 20th and last Dominic Stahl. But we have an update uh, from the very last minute. Uh, we will have two drivers who, for technical issues, cannot take part uh, at this race. Uh, they are Stefan Hagen, who was in number 12, and uh, Rupert Temper, uh, Austrian, uh, in number 19. So there will be 18 drivers at the starting grid. And we'll be back in Baku for the start of the race after this very short break. And still to come, we've got kiteboarding action from the PKRA World Tour. See you in a couple of minutes. 